roasted and get roasted. We're trying to, you know, push boundaries. We definitely did that today. <laughs>
It breaks down the cellulose walls of the plant matter and that allows it to infuse more efficiently into the butter. Uh, so the next step is we want to add our butter into this crock pot so it's nice and soft when we add the cannabis. Right now we're going to infuse one stick of butter uh, with one gram of marijuana mm -hmm. uh, which contains 200 milligrams of THC. Our end product is going to be about 6 milligrams of THC per teaspoon. We're going to go ahead and stir in the activated weed and we're going to let this go for 20 minutes. Mmm, you can definitely smell it. Yeah, you do. It's really good, actually. So now you want to strain it. If it's too hot, you can wait until it's cooled down because you want to squeeze out every single drop of it. So when it was all said and done, when this strained, we got about 150 milligram dose. Uh, and that's about enough for 10 people to have a good sized dose or even fewer people to have an even better dose. This uh, Club de Hachin drink was known for having really strong coffee as the base. Adam is gonna brew some strong coffee for us. Okay, so we're gonna brew coffee on the Steampunk, and it's a steam-powered brewing system, and it's based off of a siphon. This machine is crazy. Yeah, this is some real uh, scientific stuff here. So we just drop the coffee up here. There we go. So now that we've seen what Atom's brewing, let's go over here and brew a Cafe de Hachassin. This is not exactly just a coffee. It's gonna be multiple ingredients, including nutmeg, cloves and cinnamon, and we've got a little bit of pistachio butter on here as well. Uh, and then we're gonna put a little bit of orange juice in here. Damn, this is gonna be delicious. <laughs> it looks delicious. So then I'm just gonna add in a little bit more fresh brewed coffee just to heat it up. Okay, I'm gonna give this a stir. So this is like totally desserty, you know? Oh, it's totally desserty. Yeah. I'm putting in about a teaspoon of uh, medicated butter that we made earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm putting in about two into here. Uh, and then I'm going to put in just a little bit of hash. So how strong is this going to be? Each teaspoon is about six milligrams of THC. So there you go. Nice. Give that a try. Let me know what you think. So this is it. This That's is the it. main attraction. All right. I'm really excited for this. Mmm. It's really like complex. Yeah, it's super rich. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be for some reason. Um, but it's kind of um, chocolatey and earthy and just really satisfying. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It tastes like a seasonal drink. It tastes like something you drink at home over the holidays, doesn't it? This would make Christmas with the parents much better. <laughs> So this whole thing with uh, hash and like that French obsession with it uh, came from 1798 when they actually invaded Egypt and one thing they brought back with them was hash. Back then nobody smoked it. It was eaten and, and they put it in drinks. But it was really when these great writers and intellectuals of the mid 1800s in France formed this club that we saw it being associated with creativity. This would be a great way to have get-togethers, parties. It's a pretty simple recipe. Uh, I could see dispensaries putting together something like this. Definitely some private events. As marijuana is becoming more acceptable to talk about and to um, enjoy out in public, um, more people are going to feel comfortable being like, yeah, I like to start out my day with like, a cup of coffee and a joint, um, and sometimes with weed in my coffee. <laughs> so today gave a whole new meaning to the word wake and bake. <laughs>